Good evening and welcome to WMRT today. We're in Lake Constance in Langenagen for Match Race Germany. It's been a tough day out there on the water with quite fickle conditions, but the race officers have done a terrific job changing the race course four or five times to make the best of the conditions. Looking at the leaderboard today, Damien Yell, who had such a great time in France, actually winning Match Race France, has come out on top at the end of qualifying today, or the first day of qualifying, should I say. He had five wins and no losses. Francesco Bruni and Phil Robertson, who joins me now, also had a great day with three wins and no losses. Uh, at the bottom of the leaderboard, we had some surprises with Johnny Bernston, tour card holder, not getting off the ground with any results. But a good return to form for Bjorn Hansen, who had two wins here today, despite only winning one race in the the whole of Match Race France. So I'm being joined here today by local sailor Stefan. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Stefan Meister, you, you came here because you got qualified through the world uh, the German championships, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. Now it was very fickle out on the water today. The wind was all over the place. We have one clip of you sailing earlier today where you were totally overtaken by Francesco Bruni. We're going to show the viewers that clip, but if you'd like to just talk us through it. Yeah, so it was the third race and the uh, first two races we had problem with ourselves because we didn't sail in this uh, team together so much and uh, we had some problems with timing in the start but in the third start we win the start and control the opposite and then at the middle of the first tack uh, we go to the mark and then the wind goes down and Francesco go to the other side <laughs> and then he overcome us and was far away after that. Very difficult conditions. Now, you're a lake sailor traditionally. You're used to sailing in these shifty conditions, aren't you? Yes, in principle we like this condition, so we hope it's not so powerful because normally we sit in the office and our uh, muscles are not so big that, uh, from some other teams. And so we wish that and hope tomorrow we have more luck. Yeah, you've got quite a lot of work to do tomorrow. You need about five wins to guarantee you a place in the quarterfinals. What are you going to take away from today to use you to use tomorrow to do to do better and win some more races? Yeah, in principle, we like to remember the last uh, start because we win the start, and then we hope just we can uh, hold that to the finishing line and that five times, and then would be fine. <laughs> Now, it must be great for you to race with some real hot shots here uh, in Germany. One of those hot shots who had a fantastic day today, Phil Robertson. Not a great start in France, but you've had a terrific start here in Germany. Yeah, no, it was. It was a really, really good day for us. Um, to have three wins and no losses is perfect, especially in these conditions. I think it's um, really hard to stay ahead. As Stefan was saying, you can have half a leg lead, but it can all disappear when the breeze shifts 180 degrees. Now you have one quite interesting moment on the water. I was actually on board the other boat, Johnny Bernston's boat, when you were coming up to the start line. Just talk us through that clip. Yeah, um, it was a tough one for us. We had, um, well, we, we, I think the guys called the right, so we were trying to get to the right-hand side of the course, and um, he did a bit of some strange manoeuvres in the pre-start, which kind of put us in the hot seat to nail the start. And um, we kind of we got we we're on the boat, and um, had I had an opportunity to shut him out. And we were just a touch early, so it made it a little bit difficult to do that. And we gave it a go, but I think he was already in there by the end of it. And the umpires, after a bit of screaming and shouting, decided that he was fine and he could do it. Well, you came out of that with a win anyway. Now, Phil, something I've been wanting to ask you. You've been sort of branded with the, the young Kiwi hotshot tag that we've seen so many people have. Obviously, Adam Minoprio was a great sailor and he was on the World Tour last year. Russell Coots, Dean Barker. Is it nice to be branded that, or is it just quite a lot of pressure that you don't need? Um, no, yeah, I think every Kiwi gets branded that for some reason. Um, match racing's what we do. It's in our blood, and we've got some amazing match races above us. Um, they've all done so well and gone so far, and all pretty much won the world championships. So, I mean, it's it's there, and they we get to sail against them at home every now and then. So I think um, every young Kiwi is, is really good. There's a really good program at home that we all go through. So it's hard to, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's hard to not be kind of up there, I guess, a bit. And in a nutshell, the conditions in Langenagen. I mean, it's been pretty light today, pretty difficult. Uh, not possibly the best boats for these conditions. I mean, they're fantastic boats because they're really challenging, but uh, not ideal for these conditions. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. It's um, it's interesting because they're really, really heavy, so it just takes an age to get up to speed. But once you're up to speed, they then have a lot of momentum, so you kind of keep that same speed for quite a while. So, yeah, they they seem to be all right. They've got a lot of power for the breeze. There's a lot of sail area, so they do get along, but just big, heavy boats, so not extremely fast. And of course that's why we're all here to put these 12 skippers through their paces on the World Match Racing Tour. If you didn't catch the action today, you can definitely join us again tomorrow. I'll be back from uh, seven, oh, sorry, 9.30 Central European time with WMRT this morning. We'll then be back with Mark Chisnell uh, and Craig Mitchell for uh, between 1 and 3 o'clock Central European time for all the latest action. And then again tomorrow evening, of course, so don't miss it.